Hey peeps, I was just sitting here painting, working on a bunch of shit for my show, my MFA thesis show that's coming up opening May 3rd here at Mills College Art Museum in Oakland, California. Um, so uh, it's crunch time. I have. In terms of the history, uh, that history as a receipt. I have 8 million paintings to finish, I have 8 million videos to finish for it, I've got fucking furniture to build, and I have to do some kind of scam to get a million TVs from Costco, so I just wanted to, I was just sitting here working on all this bullshit, sure enough, haven't made a fucking YouTube video since 1937, so just wanted to say hello, check in, see how you were doing. Wonder if Bobble Rob ever made a response to my last video. That's very disappointing if it has not occurred. Um, that's about it. Uh, if anybody has a lot of ideas for me and my future and my plans and teaching jobs for me to do and cheap studio space for me to rent and an invigorated art scene in the Bay Area here where I live now. Any of that would be much appreciated. Uh, had some really weird shit happen. So one of the things that happens in art grad school is you have all these studio visits with people. You probably know this. But you have all these studio visits and I had a studio visit with an artist. I'm not gonna name names but it was somebody and they do very politically charged art and I was like researching them and trying to get really on point to be articulate and all this stuff and then day comes when they're going to come to my studio and they show up with an entourage of like four people, three other people and they just burst in my studio, set up all this recording equipment and cameras and yada yada and just start interviewing me about my work. Now usually when you have a studio visit it's just one person comes in with no recording equipment and they just kind of like bullshit with you about your work and be like well have you looked at this? Have you looked at Sheldon Bronson and Carol Johnson? And then you write their names down and never ever look them up if you're me. And then you throw away the fucking paper that you write all your shit on. So long story short, I have no idea what they're doing with any of this stuff and then I get an email today from the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art which is not even in existence right now because they're remodeling so the museum's closed to like 2016. They're asking me if I need to sign a consent form. No idea what's going on. No clue what's going on. So that was weird. It's been very... I feel like I'm maintaining a moderately okay level of calm, but it has been a bit insane lately. Uh, just trying to get all my shit done and got a TA, you're TAing for a professor, that's crazy in its own right. Just a lot of craziness. I'm, as soon as I'm done with all this, I'm gonna get a nice data entry job, make videos, chill out, you know, get back on the tip of being productive. Maybe make a comic book or two, you know. Just gotta keep it going, make it happen. So, that's it. So come to the show, I'll make another video soon. I'm actually making a lot of videos right now, it's just I'm not posting them to YouTube because I have a, a opening coming up where I'm showing some of, some of the videos I'm making. So. Wanted to have it be like a fresh, a premiere situation. Okay, so I'm not editing any of this. I'm just putting it on YouTube. Have a good one. Thank you for your time.